So what's going on, toxic gamers? We need to immediately talk about what just happened. We need to talk, we need to talk, we need to talk, okay? I have to blame somebody first of all, and therefore, I am gonna blame you guys. Because of you guys! Because of you guys! It is all because of you guys! Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because, you see, the news today is wild, okay? You must have heard the story, but apparently there is a lot more than meets the eye. There are two video clips that I want to share with you guys, and we're going to actually talk about what just happened. We're going to carefully analyze it. We're going to carefully talk about it because, you know, something happened today, right? Because of that, gamers are now looking like this. Gamers are celebrating. Gamers are talking about it. And you're probably like, yo, bro, like what happened, man? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. You know what happened, man! Everybody's talking about it! You know what happened, okay? But there's a lot more than that, even if you know or you don't. But realistically, okay, there's probably two people that do not know what went down, right? And for those two fellas out here, what we're learning is that PlayStation is shutting down Concord on September 6th due to poor sales. Yeah, yeah. How many we're talking about? We're hearing like 4,000 people bought this piece of trash. The analysts are saying give or take 12,000 people. So they're bumping it up. There's a rumor around the street that says that 25,000 people bought it. And okay, best case scenario, if 25,000 people bought this uh, game, what we're learning is that they would have made somewhere around a million to two million dollars uh, worth of money. That's a lot of money, man. Can a brother get two pennies? But here, get this, hear this. What we're learning is that these suckers have spent a hundred million dollars more than a hundred million dollars on this game yeah yeah so they they lost 99 percent 90 98 99 percent of their money and get this concord uh you know all the way back on august the 20th these seconds had uh, a roadmap set they were like and i remember if i'm not mistaken right they were hyping up season three they were hyping up season one season two toxic gamers and all that right they were saying that nobody gonna stop us nothing can stop us we all the way up nothing can stop us we all the way up Bruh. i guess you got the point right so they were like hyping it up and they were saying that what to expect after launch uh said august 20th and man like guys look at that man damn man i don't want none of you guys uh, laughing at this situation bruh we had a situation today we had a situation we had a situation okay these seconds had season one season two and wait for the video right they were also hyping up season three kind of like teasing it you know what i'm saying yeah oh you wanna she oh you wanna she watch out there we're not gonna sh show you psych but apparently one of the biggest psych just went down in the history of gaming fellas give it up for these suckers out here man apparently 44 people are now are now currently playing this game. They're enjoying the game. That's a small town, guys. That really is a small town. I blame all of you guys out here. Without your guys' support, because you guys didn't support this junk, they're now now shutting down. But shout out to the homie Yellow Flash. Wait for it. I gotta show you guys uh, the homie Asman as well in a second. He was caught wilding out. Rolling. Some breaking Concord news. A game, by the way which has dropped to 50 players on Steam as of right now. Uh, wrong. wrong. 44 right now, but I get it. Maybe later on it's going to get 100. Yeah, maybe. They're shutting the game down. The game is shutting down, and people are going to get refunds. I mean, not that they have a lot of people to refund. Yeah. <laughs> because only 25,000. To, to be honest, though, these seconds can personally message people that bought the game because it's not that many. You know, it's not that many. And copy sold. And that's an estimate. It's probably lower. They're shutting the game down. You know why they're doing that? Because they're going to remodel it to go to free-to-play mode. That's why. Because they have to. They have to. Some of the game is unplayable because it takes eight minutes to find a match for the rivalry Damn. mode. That's if it even gets... Eight minutes is like on the internet and in terms of like gamers, uh, eight minutes is like eight years. Long. Because guess what? There's not enough people, so it times out. They're going to have to go free-to-play so they can maybe get it up to, what, a thousand players across yeah. two platforms? There's maybe 200 people playing it on PlayStation. I showed you that trophy list. Yeah. Only like 1,200 people actually got the first kill trophy. The most common trophy in the game. That's bad. So this is breaking right now, September 3rd. This is on PlayStation Blog. Wait for Concord it. fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PlayStation 5. And Concord got fans? Concord fans? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so the, the, yeah, apparently this game, right? This game. Bruh. Bruh. Got fans, okay. Are you, any of you Concord fan? Let me know, man. Let me know. 
And, and listen, man, I, I'm just saying, man, I'm worried for this one out here, bro. 15 people, that's a small building worth of people, guys. What are we talking about, man? What are we talking? Uh, I'm worried for Dustborn, Dustborn out here. I'm really worried, guys. I'm really worried for Star Wars because they're reporting bad numbers as well. The Captain BBC! <laughs> you know, uh, Assassin's Creed, like... Yeah, these suckers are racist as hell, man. Always making black people gay in the game, bro. They did that, right? And, and on top, what we're learning is that Yasuke was not, but they still made him. Uh, and they're being racist towards Japanese people, Asian people as well. So right now, there's a lot of fuss about Assassin's Creed as well. Star Wars not doing too hot either. I I'm worried for Ubisoft. I'm really worried for Ubisoft. In BC and want to thank everyone who has joined the journey aboard the North Star. Your support and the passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. <laughs> okay, what community? However, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6th and explore options, including oh, those sure. that will better reach our players. You know oh, what that option you. is? Free to play. The game's going to go free to play. It has to. Or they're not going to make any money. So, what are they going to explore? Uh, an in game currency? And shit you can buy with real world money so they yeah. can try to make some money. This mm. game has lost a hundred million dollars as it sits right now. They have to Holy. figure something out and salvage this something. Yeah, they, they're gonna, they, yeah, absolutely. They're not gonna, and I'm not a game dev and I, I don't have any knowledge, but all I know is that servers do cost money, right? Maybe not, maybe not now. Maybe technology has really advanced. I mean, when you see the character advancing, right? Bruh. I would suspect that even the servers would advance and the technology would advance, right? So, I, I could be wrong, but I, I believe that servers do cost money, right? So uh, the the amount of people playing this game, and of course the Steam, the Steam Steam is definitely gonna require some fees, right? So Steam is gonna charge uh, fees. I, I believe that it's gonna be for if somebody buys the game, Sony would get like a cut, Steam would get their cut, right? Maybe 10%, 20%. I'm not sure, but they would definitely get a cut, right? Uh, let me know if anybody, any of you got knowledge, right? And Lara be looking kind of crazy right now, okay? Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stay on topic at hand. Okay, I'm getting distracted out here, but, but yes, so they're gonna charge some fees, absolutely. Sony, of course, uh, if if it's on PlayStation, all the money would go, 100% would go, all the profits would go. Oh, what profit? <laughs> There's no profit so far, my bad, guys, my bad, my bad. Yeah. So all the money would go towards PlayStation. Totally makes sense, right? Games 10 years ago, games today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is what we're talking about technology, ladies and gentlemen. But if it's gonna go free to play, it still would need some amount of people playing the game, some amount of people buying the microtransaction for them to for for it to make sense. Because I'm not sure if you guys heard this or not, but X Define is also shutting down. Yeah, it can shut down. I should say it can shut down. But they are talking about it, right? And they're talking about cutting support for the game because uh, people are dropping like flies on that game. So games like X Defiant too, Ubisoft, right? So Ubisoft in in massive heat right now, bro. Dumbass. Massive. Because heat. if they don't, this was bound to happen. I'm shocked though that this is shutting down. I call this game the biggest game. The, this is one of the biggest flops in video game history, and you're yeah, seeing more no evidence of that right now. The fact that they're shutting this game down, it hasn't even launched for a week. While we determine the best path forward, Concord sales will cease immediately. And we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. If you purchase the game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. I love me the refunds on my original paying, uh, payment method, okay? Because, you know, these seconds would give you whatever Concord virtual currency is. If it is or not, I don't know. For example, Call of Duty got card points. Uh, Fortnite got V bucks, right? These things would pay you back in V bucks. So thank God it's not gonna be in V bucks. Customers who purchased from other digital storefronts will also be refunded. More information about refunds from Steam and Epic can be found below. So Steam Store uh, will refund players who bought the game over the coming days. Epic Game Store will refund players who bought the game over the next couple of days. Love other it, retailer love it. refunds for customers who have purchased a physical copy at a retailer location outside of PlayStation directly. Please refer to the refund process of the retailer you purchased it from to obtain your refund. You know what? That, if you open that game, you're not going to get a refund. <laughs> That's their policy. The policy is yeah. uh, games that have been opened don't get refunds. So gotcha physical right customers kind of gotcha got screwed, right but I'll tell you, they're going to pull all those games out of stores now. If you have a physical copy of this game, it might be worth a couple of bucks. Uh, it's if they bring it back. I don't know. That's yeah, maybe maybe they're going to give you like five bucks or maybe like... I remember back in the days when I would bring my old collection... I remember like bringing this many, I kid you not, these amount of games 
it was roughly around 10 games and yeah those were like playstation 2 games i'm talking like years and years ago right to like a secondhand store i, I believe was it was it eb games yeah eb games right eb games is essentially gamestop eb games uh, is i believe in uh australia new zealand and canada it's like the equivalent of gamestop okay so i brought like about 10 10 games roughly right and you want to know how much that guy was willing to give me take a guess you know take a guess fifteen dollars <laughs> and not even 15 usd 15 maple dollars that's not even worth anything now back in the days it was still worth something but now it's like 15 canadian man yo man you you want you you want 15 dollars you want 50 yeah here you go i'm like yo bro like i'm giving you 10 games damn it give me at least a hundred dollars man too bad I, I i wish i could say psych right now so yeah with concord you guys crazy? You really think that they're gonna give you like $30? You really think that they're gonna give you $40? Oh man, I would be shocked if they, uh, I, I would be shocked if they, they give you like 20. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I guess like $10 maybe, maybe five. Bruh. Five or 10 bucks, I guess you can get it. Uh, get that and after that you can maybe like get some, get a coffee or two, right? Like, yeah, yeah. That's a low Sounds about right. Wow, that's amazing. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. You're getting refunded. This game is shutting down and it's gonna go re free to play. Like I I wanna I wanna show you this, okay? Uh, shout out to the homie Aspen Gold. Roll it. This wasn't a big game. This was an IP. You guys have to understand this. Like, this wasn't just like they were planning a whole world with this. This was a whole environment. They had characters, they made backstories for everything. They planned on having this be the next big thing. And it was. It's the next big failure. <laughs> and so, yes, um, they uh, have effectively, um, you know, aborted Concord. It's uh, uh, we're hearing eight years in development. It's dead. Somebody Massive mentioned that in Massive Sony chat L. Eight years. Keep there in mind, go. yes, this game has been in development for eight years. Ironic how this is the most fitting trophy name for the one person in the world who platinumed Concord. Living legend. Okay, so only one person actually platinumed it? Living legend, more like dying legend. Am I right? Wow. Ultimate. Or why am I even bringing legend? What's the opposite of a legend? Bozo? Bozo? Okay. <laughs> Living Bozo or dead Bozo. Yeah. Or oh, Rip Bozo. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Rip Bozo. That, that should be the trophy name. Like, I feel like this is going to be like. If you have this on Rip your Bozo. account, this is going to make your account worth. Somebody said Living Loser. <laughs> Okay, that's that's better. That's better. More money. This is like, yeah, this 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 account is the account, the only one that has the platinum achievement for Concord, the dead game from 2000 and what was it, 2024, right? Like 15 years ago, right? This is the 0.1 percent, right, bro? This guy is the uh, yeah, the flappy bird, exactly. PlayStation will take Concord offline on Friday and refund Man. all players who purchased the game. An important update on Concord Firewalk Studio, and you can see. <laughs> Bomba card! Yo, these things. Oh shit, I did not know these things actually disabled the replies. Get will go, bro! Yeah, man, like, I, 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 I feel like that they're gonna learn. There's no way PlayStation is gonna drop another woke ass game like that from now on. You know, this is such a catastrophic, catastrophic failure. And it's a good thing for gamers. It really is a good thing. Now, if these Sega's drop this game for free, which is very likely gonna happen, and if these Sega's gonna go crazy with the microtransactions, which is likely gonna, ha gonna happen, but they're gonna see the other side of the gamers once again. Gamers are probably gonna turn around and not play that. Guys, we need to keep up the momentum. We absolutely have to keep up this momentum. I think it's gonna get worse before it gets better, but it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better though. We're gonna start to see better games, but we need to keep up the same energy right now, bro. PlayStation muted. We deserve better, guys. Gamers deserve better, bro. We deserve better, man. It replies. Uh-oh, I wonder why. Concord is flat out being taken offline forever. I thought a rush to free-to-play was nuts, but they still might do that, but yeah. Free-to-play will not save the game. It People won't. just don't want anything that the game has to offer. Yeah. Like, that's all there is nah. to it. The game doesn't really look like it plays well. The characters look stupid. Like, what are you doing? Like, how did you think this was going to work at all? So, you think about it, and... They invested, so, um, let's see. So you had, uh, let's say like they put $100 million dollars into it, 
and they sold, what did they say, like 35,000 copies? So 35,000 for $40, uh, what is 40? that? Oh, jeez. Oh, One, man. 1.4 mil. Oh, wow, that's not anywhere even near it. Oh, jeez. That's only one. Yeah, what we're hearing is that it could be approximately like 100 to 150 million. Some people are probably like exaggerating by saying 200 million, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, let's just say 100 million, right? 100 million and best case scenario, 35,000 sales. I guess it's safe to say nobody knows the exact number of copies. People are taking a guess based off of the, 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 the people that earned the trophies and apparently a person... Uh, so far, 1,200 some people got a single kill in in uh, on PS5 in, in Concord, right. right? Yeah, like 1,200 people. So people are assuming 1,200 people, of course, bought the game. But then you're averaging it out, right? Like how many more people perhaps bought the game too? So people are roughly saying 2,000 people. And similar number is being thrown around for Steam as well. So let's just say 4,000. It might be lower than even 4,000, bro. <laughs> it might be lower than that too. But then there have been analysts that are saying that 12,000, 15,000 people. It's all over the place. It's It really is all over the place. Some are saying 25,000. Now Asmund Gold is saying 35,000. Now oh, forget about everything, right? Okay, best case scenario, which I don't think it's 35,000. Okay, like, come on, man. Miss me with that. But even if it's 35,000, they're making 1.4 million. Okay, let's round them numbers up real good. Real good. Okay, let's just say they made $2 million. What about the... 98 million what about the 98 million dollars that they lost man these things could have paid gamers to play their game bro these things could have paid million us dollars 1.3 million dollars oh wow jesus and so 1. they've 4. lost 99 percent of their money so maybe they've recouped one percent of their money that is incredible go woke go broke i feel like being woke is like so it, it, it that's not the main reason why concord died like you can't look at a game like deadlock that has tons of representation and you can't look at a game like overwatch that's somehow more woke than than concord ever could hope to be and then be like the reason why concord failed is because it was woke now i do think that it definitely had it like that first impression that people got with it of people thinking it was like a DEI woke game definitely hurt the amount of people. It hurt the initial reception, right? Like as soon as people saw that, they said, oh wow, this is gonna be one of those other bullshit games, right? So I think that definitely happened, right? Mm. Concords were no pronouns or was and were. Yeah, that's about right. It's a little bit of everything, but also like the woke stuff definitely is uh, rampant right now. And it's not just one game that is seeing that. It's like all the big games are now seeing it and people are just fed up with it, right? And especially what's going on around uh, these things like, also tried to wokeify that monkey game, that Black Myth Wukong, they said no to it. Stellar Blade, they were pretty, pretty mad with Stellar Blade not being woke. So they were also really, really mad with that. And when people see all that, when you got robot in the game having pronouns and people are seeing characters looking like this right they're uglifying the characters and then they see the gameplay and without the woke stuff the gameplay is pretty mediocre it's worse than mediocre even right so it's below average so game is not looking good minus the woke crap and with the woke crap that's another part of it right so yeah absolutely it's a little bit of everything but the game in general was also nothing special. And then you going around and charging people $40. Are you guys out of your mind? Are you guys out of your goddamn mind? Like, let's be real about it. Like, nobody's gonna buy. I mean, I should not say nobody. I mean, there, there are some people that bought it, right? There are people that bought it, right? I mean, these, some suckers actually bought it. And I mean, listen, like, if you bought it, you enjoyed the game. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you, or I should say I'm sad for you that the game is gonna shut down, man. Bruh. The game is gonna shut down, so enjoy it while it lasts. Play every last moment of the game. Okay, now seriously, if you enjoy the game, play every moment of it, and then you're at least gonna get your money back, so, you know, no robbery, at least no robbery till... Yeah, guys, let's clap it up, let's clap it up, let's clap it up. At least so far, no robbery happened on gamers, okay? The toxic gamers, okay? But... And uh, it's a win over DEI anyway. I mean, I, I think that it's a, it's another point on the graph for sure. Uh, definitely. Overwatch is extremely gay. I mean, I, I would say that's only the tip of the iceberg. 
Yeah, and uh, they make characters ugly, and ugly things don't sell well. Yeah, it was ugly, bad, and boring. I think that's basically about it, too. No, I, I, I probably agree with you, and that's kind of the way that I see it, too. But it's 7 out of it's 10, how can it die so fast? Because... Context, IGN gave it 7 out of 10. <laughs> IGN gave it a 7 out of 10. If these suckers give another game 7 out of 10, then I'm gonna be like, Brad, it might shut down. You wanna know what other game they also gave 7 out of 10 to? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, Dustborn. <laughs> they also gave Dustborn that rating. Anyways, guys, have yourself a wonderful day, man. Check out this video on the screen. They're going crazy with that BBC Samurai situation, though. Yay! That BBC Samurai situation raging wildfires once again. And, and it might get shut down, too, bro. You never know, bro. Check out this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, because X Defined is certainly getting shut down. So check out both of these videos, and I'll see you there. What is going on in gaming, man? I